Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and you're on to the Tenny Brainy vlog. On the channel today, I will be talking about something that I have been asked a whole lot of questions about. My hair. Yes, my hair. So this video is for everyone I owe a video. I know that I have posted a whole lot of people. I'm so sorry, forgive me, but finally I get to talk about my hair. So um, I've been natural for about four years. I cut my hair around 2016, July 2016, if I am correct. I think. Is that much? I, I really cannot. No, it should be June 2016. Yes, June 2016. I cut my hair and. Um, why did I cut my hair? I was tired of the hair. So my hair was relaxed then and then I noticed it was breaking a lot. My god, it was very frustrating. So I cut the hair. I really did not know a lot about transitioning or moving from um, relaxed hair to natural hair. So I just cut the whole hair off and then I think I started making the hair by um, um, November 20. I think November 2016 or 2017 I think they're about so I started making the hair again now um how has the journey been ah natural hair I hear people say I cannot be natural oh it's so difficult to be natural how do you give natural hair yes I understand that sometimes the natural hair journey can be really 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 demanding and all that but then I'll be sharing some of the tips with you how I handle my natural hair have been able to manage it for these four years some of the things I do some of the things I do not do I hope that you find the video interesting doop, doop. yeah so we're back one of the questions I get asked a lot do you guys have hair in your family yes um, we are mostly very hairy in my family. Mm -hmm. Being hairy or having history of hair in your family also determines if you will have so much hair on your head. Yeah, N not necessarily maybe your immediate family. You could inherit hair from maybe your grandparents or genes basically. So it influences it. Very quickly, I will share some of the things I do to my hair. Now, my hair has not always been like this. My hair has not always been like this. When I started, it was a very, 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 very wonderful journey of getting to learn and unlearn and relearn and I mean, but I have been able to get a stable regimen for my hair. And that's one thing I would tell you if you're going to go natural or if you're a naturalista, please make sure that you get what works for you. I would just tell people, ah, I used to be a product junkie. I'm sure if I should tag my sister-in-law to this video, she would, <laughs> she would totally concur. I would buy this, I would buy that, I would buy this, I could spend so much on my natural hair just trying to get product, but then it will still not work. And then at some point my hair was great. Okay, when I stepped in Jigawa, my hair was breaking. Oh my god, I think the weather affected it or the water. So I was buying products, I was not seeing this. I was buying products, I was not seeing any impact. On it so it was really it was really not a nice one but then I got to understand the hair I realized that the hair did not really need so much for it to grow that is it so um, as a naturalist I never made the mistake of buying so much product Farabale calm down know what your hair loves and then give that to your so I'll be sh showing you people very quickly my product get ready this is my product basket all of this all of this is my product basket and I'll be sharing um, how I use this product and um, the names of the products so that you could probably get them. Now, the first thing that is very important for your natural hair is a shampoo. You need a shampoo. So I use Tresem shampoo, healthy volume. And then for your natural hair shampoo, you don't want anything that will break your hair. You don't want anything that will break your hair. This Tresem shampoo is very good. Very good. Yes, I recommend it. I've been using this for almost a year if not over a year and it's quite um it's quite a very good one so i would recommend it to you next i will be sharing this is my conditioner yes i use a conditioner now this is a rinse out conditioner not a leave-in conditioner it's also a interesting product so this is the conditioner that i use um the next thing that is very important for your hair as a naturalista is a deep conditioner deep conditioner so for my deep conditioner, I use Jamaican black castor oil. 
intensive repair mask. Oh my god, this conditioner is amazing! It's amazing. So, um, why do you need a deep conditioner? Deep conditioner is like food for your hair when you wash up your hair and then it has lots of its nutrients. This serves as um, some sort of food for the hair. So, this is the deep conditioner I use for my hair. I try to wash my hair once in two weeks, yes, but there are times that um, I I'm too busy or I'm too lazy to wash it and then it extends to three weeks or four weeks but most of the time I like to wash my hair once in two weeks yes I have this same um, co-wash now so the difference between a shampoo and a co-wash is that this is like a it's like a combination of a conditioner and a shampoo so when your hair is probably not too dirty and you just need to wash it you can use a co-wash so this is Aunt Jackie's um, Coco Wash, Coconut Milk Conditioning Cleanser. So this is what I use when my hair is probably not too dirty and I just need to clean it. Next is my Protein Treatment. Yes, hair mayonnaise. Now Protein Treatment is used um, when you feel like your hair is weak or is breaking off. Just like the um, deep conditioner, Protein Treatment too is very, 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 very important. So this is hair mayonnaise. Now there are a lot of DIYs, but I don't have the patience to do DIYs. So most times I just buy my products, apply, and I use. So this is um, Organics Hair Mayonnaise. Yes, Organics Hair Mayonnaise. Now another very important thing is to moisturize your hair after you wash it, deep condition, protein treatment. I use them um, this Afro um, Share Manco. So this is. Shea, it's almost finished. I need a new one. This is a combination of shea butter and um, uh, mango, so whipped hair and body butter. But I use it for my hair. So this is basically just to moisturize my hair to keep it moisturized. After I've washed my hair, I moisturize with this. I need very good growth oil. Now, um, this is the growth oil I use. This is um, from. Oh God, can you see it? I feel like it's the light is too much. I feel like light is too much, but this is the hair growth oil I use. Now, this is Aprilicious Ayurvedic Hair and Scalp Care Oil. So, I apply this to my edges and I apply it to my scalp. It has a very, um, very, very easy applicator also. So, I would recommend that you get this. Yes, I use it for my hair. So, I apply it to my hair and my edges. It's important that you use growth oils. Yes, you apply directly to the scalp. Now, your hair grows out from your scalp. So, when you're applying a growth oil, please don't apply it to the hair itself you apply it to the scalp because it is a scalp oil and the hair grows out from the scalp just like when you're planting you don't apply fertilizer to the leaves right you apply it to the soil because that is where your plant grows out from then also i have a spray bottle this is very important i use this to moisturize my hair once in a while once in a while try to moisturize my hair and then make sure that it is moisturized because one thing natural hair doesn't like is dryness. Once natural hair is dry, I'm sorry, it's going to break a lot. You need to moisturize your hair as often. You need to moisturize your hair as often as possible. So, a spray bottle. Then the next thing I will show you is a leave-in conditioner. Man, I use the Mega Growth Leave-in Conditioner. Daily leave-in and straightener. The number one thing I like about this is the smell. The smell is hair really. I mean... You know when you put something in your hair, you feel like you can eat what you put on your hair. So I like this leave-in conditioner. It is very, 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 very nice. It smells nice and then it works for my hair too. You know what about natural hair is stick with what works for you. I made a mistake when I um, started out as a natural. They say, oh, this good oil is working. <laughs> I'm ready. Oh, it is this one that's working. <laughs> I'm ready. And then I was spending a lot of money, like I said, until I was able to get what exactly works for me. Now, uh, I will also show you some of the combs I use. Now, my hair is quite thick, so I use this um, comb, this white tooth comb for my hair. Then I use this afro comb because, I'm sorry, if you know me, you know that I only have one style I do, and that's the afro, um, the high pop. That's the only style I really know how to do. So I use this to comb out. Then also, I have my detangling brush here. So this is my detangling brush when I'm washing my hair. I detangle and then I wash the hair. Now this is a brush. Um, the bristles are quite, quite, quite safe for the hair. So I use it for my edges to brush my edges. Please, as a naturalista, be less manipulative with your hair. I was sharing on my um, status, WhatsApp status, um, sometime back that 
I've not been to the hairdresser in about nine months now. Now that's because I noticed that a lot of hairdressers are not patient to treat natural hair. They just want to do the good. And then I noticed my hair was cutting a lot. I mean, I could imagine spending money on products and then a hairdresser somewhere is cutting my hair. So all I do is, and that's why I left this hair for you to see. I weave my hair into two by myself. Yeah. Well, I know how to weave a little, so I just weave my hair into two by myself, and then I use wigs because I have to be in a corporate environment. So it's as easy as that. Another thing is, I don't let people toy with my edges. Yeah. I don't let people toy with my edges. Now my hair is not very full in the front, so you can imagine if people are toying with my edges, I will be bald. My hair will most likely start from here. So I don't let people toy with my edges at all. Let the edges. Breathe. Even if you're going to do any style, please let your edges breathe. And um, another thing about natural is that you need patience, a whole lot of patience. I remember when I started as a natural hair, first day as a natural vista, small time I would pull my hair. Ah, this hair is too big. I'll pull it again. Ah, this hair is too big. And then at some point I just got tired. I mean, like, this hair grew at your pace. You need to be very, very patient with your natural hair. Um, let it grow at its pace. Do what you're supposed to do, wash your hair, condition it, give it not, um, the protein it needs, and then just relax. Your natural hair will go. So, very quickly, I'll just style my hair into the usual bond that you all know me for. Come and check now, I'm alright, alright. the basics of what I do with my hair let me know if you have questions please drop a comment do you like my hair please encourage me okay guys so thank you for coming to my channel today um have a beautiful week stay classy stay beautiful